I want to share some good news today. If there's one thing that really damages public faith in our government institutions and the institutions of democracy, it's lying and secrecy in government. And today, those lies and secrets are coming to light like never before. Three years ago, I and many other dissidents were telling the public that COVID likely originated in a lab leak. We were saying to people that there was no science behind mask and social distancing mandates. We were questioning some of the more extravagant claims the government and pharmaceutical officials were making about the capacity of vaccines to prevent transmission and their safety and the idea that nobody would be injured. All the while, public health officials led by Dr. Anthony Fauci were telling the public that our concerns were misinformation, that they were unscientific, that they were crazed conspiracy theories. But now those challenges that we made to official orthodoxies have themselves become mainstream dogma. Well, now even Congress and the mainstream media and even public health officials are acknowledging and not only was Dr. Fauci wrong, but he was deliberately misleading the public. In May of 2021, Dr. Fauci stated unequivocally that the U.S. has, has not, not ever, ever and, and does, does not now fund gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. But last week, Dr. Fauci's former assistant and current NIH Deputy Director, Lawrence Tapak, directly contradicted that. Yes, we did. U.S. taxpayer did fund Eco Health Alliance, which was working on gain-of-function research in the Wuhan lab. Dr. Fauci and his minions covered that up from the American public. In fact, at a House hearing last week, emails revealed that a key Dr. Fauci aide at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, Dr. David Morenz, used a secret back channel to hide the evidence of this gain of function financing by NIH and Dr. Fauci at the Wuhan lab. Dr. Morenz bragged in emails that he had deleted smoking gun messages related to COVID's origins in blatant defiance of record keeping laws to protect Dr. Fauci and other colleagues. Dr. Fauci himself also recently admitted, again under oath, that there was no scientific evidence to support mask or social distancing mandates, despite stating the exact opposite during the pandemic. The whole time, anyone who told the truth was ridiculed by Dr. Fauci as a liar. And they were censored, they were canceled, they were marginalized, they were gaslit, they were deplatformed by social media companies under pressure from the US government. Now all the lies are coming to light. The recent revelations are pulling back the curtain on all the deep rot at the heart of the federal bureaucracy. So the question we need to ask ourselves in a democracy is how are we gonna be sure that this will never happen again? Even President Trump and President Biden trusted Dr. Fauci as a close advisor. They're not listening to these hearings, they're not hearing the testimony, and they still consider Anthony Fauci, an American hero. We need a president who actually will go into the weeds, who will ask the questions that need to be asked, that will make his own decisions. I've been following Dr. Fauci from the beginning. I even wrote a book about him during the pandemic that you might remember. It was called The Real Anthony Fauci. So you can be sure that when I'm president of the United States, I'm not gonna be taking advice from corrupt federal officials. I'm gonna clean out the rat's nest in our federal agencies. I'm gonna end this a rump merger of state and corporate power. I'm going to dismantle agency capture, which has turned our agencies into sock puppets for the industry they're supposed to regulate. If you want those qualities in a president of the United States, I welcome your support and I need your donations now. Let's take back our country.